More now on the story that surgeons in London have carried out a pioneering human embryonic stem cell operation in ongoing trials to find a cure for blindness that affects many patients. The procedure has been designed to treat people with age-related macular degeneration, the leading cause of adult blindness in the UK. The first results from the trials are expected towards the end of the year. Well, I'm joined now via webcam by Cathy Yelf, who's chief executive of the Macular Society, a charity that helps people with vision loss, including those with this particular condition. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, well, it sounds a very exciting and very promising breakthrough. It is. It is indeed. It's an absolutely thrilling day for us. We've waited for this for uh, many years. Um, the Society and the Society's members funded actually the very early stages of this research way back in 2006, 7, 8, and it has taken until today uh, for the first uh, news of the first patient to be uh, implanted with these stem cells. So it, it is a wonderful day for us. Yes, indeed. Just to explain to those who are lucky enough not to suffer from this or know about it, how does it affect people's vision? Well, the macula is a tiny part of the retina at the back of the eye. It's about the size of a grain of rice, but it's actually responsible for all our central vision, most of our colour vision and the fine detail of what we see. So if you don't have your macula, if your macula is diseased, you can't drive or read or uh, recognise faces or see the food on your plate. It's a devastating condition for many, many elderly people. And of course, it's now the most common cause of sight loss in the developed world. Um, actually, more people are blind from macular degeneration than every other cause of blindness uh, put together in the UK now. Is it another case where, because we're all living longer, uh, it's catching up with more and more people? Yes, yes, that is right. It's a, it's a condition of ageing. It is relatively 60, but then the incidence of it, the prevalence of it, rather, um, roughly quadruples through the decades of life. So by the time people are in their 90s, they have almost a one in four chance of having late-stage macular degeneration. Now, th this is... Uh, uh, as you say, a breakthrough, and it's very important, and so on. But it's it's very early days, isn't it? And an awful lot of people, as you say, uh, to be uh, helped in the long term. One hopes. Well, it's early days in the sense that we have only uh, got to one patient who's been implanted with with this. It, it, years and years and years of work have already gone on on this project. Uh, but yes, it is it is an early stage trial. One patient has been implanted with the stem cells. Another nine, I understand, are to be uh, treated shortly in this sort of first stage of the trial. This is really to check the safety of, st of stem cells uh, being used in this way and to see whether it, it works. The earlier trial suggests that it will, so we're very hopeful. And then, of course, if, if that is true and uh, over the next uh, couple of years, uh, then clearly they will have to go on to do larger trials with more patients uh, to make sure that uh, it's safe and that it becomes uh, usable as a clinical technique. Indeed. Cathy Yell from Macular Society, thank you very much.